to open house at Global uh, Founders. My fear is that we have a great opportunity, and if we are too, no pun intended, conservative and too leery of change that is facing us, we as a community are going to miss some very valuable opportunities. We have to embrace these changes. We have to take advantage of these changes and make the town more welcoming business-wise and residential-wise. Somebody was mentioning, is that 30 seconds? Somebody was mentioning, um, you know, about the tech park and the transit and stuff. You know, a lot of people, think about GE. A lot of people in Schenectady and GE came in, did their tour of duty at GE, and they started up businesses, offshoots of GE, and stayed in the town. We can do that here also. We have to be more welcoming to these people. Those poor families that are in Ellsworth Commons and living there, those children have no, you know, Oh, would you like to add two remarks? You have another sure. I, I like to finish that because I'm kind of passionate about it. I look at those families and I'm fascinated about their languages and their cultures that they're bringing here. And I don't see how we're taking advantage. My wife and I took one of our grandchildren to the park uh, off, of, off of Dunning and there was a Chinese family there. You know, our kids are in school with them. I would like to see some of these well-paid, talented people, one of two things, go back to their home countries with a very positive opinion of us, or even better, stay here, raise their family, and invest in our community. That's, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure where we are. Did you both address this question? Yeah. yeah. Have you both? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I wonder, uh, usually we try to end at 9 o'clock, but we had a little bit of extra time between our, our candidate transitions, and I wonder if you want to go on with two or three more questions, or you want to be ending at 9? Go ahead. And <laughs> There may be better as <laughs> We can talk all night. <laughs> all right, then I have one more question for you. Uh, obviously, you have other concerns. People don't hesitate to go to these people, not just tonight. You're going to see them in the town. Um, and I congratulate you all for coming tonight. This is the way to get to know who you're voting for. And please vote. Your vote counts. All right, so one one, the one question that I will, I will ask you, and we will start with Bill. Okay. Open space. What can the town government do to add to our open spaces or to create new open space? We have a master plan uh, for the town. We have a good master plan for the town. My, uh, and it was funny, there was an interview on the Boston Journal, uh, and the question came up that I was, I don't have 30, 30 seconds yet. We, if we abide by the plan, we would be on good for you. My concern is, is that there are other interests that play into it, and we, allow them to make the decisions and deviate PDDs. And I think Tim mentioned it in, in that interview. Right, in the past we have used too many. I think we could use even less. Stick to the plan. When I sit down with families and do their financial plan, it, it's hard. You see something sparkly and shiny and oh, you know, we, can we just tweak this and tweak that. Be disciplined enough to stick to the plan, and there are going to be times that you're going to have to make some adjustments. But I think, and I'm pretty sure Vince is going to agree, it is a good plan. We need to stick with it, and we will have it. We can't create any more open space. We were kind of chuckling about that. Only God can create more space. But I understand the spirit behind the question. 
we just don't want to become one country knows east, west, north, south. Yeah. Don't that whole thing. Thank you. Sorry, you're done. Okay. Okay. I, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but I agree with him. We have a good, good plan. We need to stick with it. Mm -hmm. We have uh, currently in our town 550 acres of parks, uh, not to mention all the open space uh, that, that, that we're encouraging more. Uh, Mr. Hartzell earlier mentioned a number of farms, uh, one on uh, Malta Avenue and uh, Van Arnhem Road that we approved for uh, the project plan. Uh, saving uh, agricultural property and open space. We have another one, Dakota Ridge uh, uh, Lava Farm that we've recently approved uh, that we're moving forward. So there's a lot of that right now. And, and, and the other is our plan, and I will say the plan that I had originally introduced uh, when elected to the town board, and that is to consolidate our uh, commercial, there, this could be disagreed uh, on obviously, our commercial corridors so that it protects the agricultural and residential and the uh, country land off of those, so what traditionally is all, have always been commercial routes, just have never been zoned as such and identified as such. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the one, one of the concerns I do have that I didn't put in there and we ran out of time when you asked about concerns, was that uh, we still need to be careful, again, financially in the future, that we can't uh, hamstring future generations because there's, there's a lot of maintenance involved with all these parks and trails and so forth, hundreds of miles of trails in the, in the town. But they're definitely worth preserving, and as uh, Mr. Brahani said, we've what got a plan we need to stick with. Oh, you have one more red card. You know, this is your uh, last chance to use I can add that, though, to the. Uh, you may to not the use end. it in closing statements. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I, then I will use it. And that is uh, a couple of other concerns. Thank you. A couple of Did I do something wrong with that? Okay. A couple of other uh, concerns you asked earlier. Ellsworth Commons, I do not want to see that place uh, become, uh, you know, desolate, uh, broken windows type of a, a place. We're working, uh, Mrs. Uh, Young mentioned that I had talked about, and that was uh, through direct involvement, meeting with uh, uh, the Department of Transportation that never, with the state that never had approved um, uh, on-street parking before, got that approved. The owners of those worth common so have a responsibility before we allow that, and that it's for them to put in the extra lane so it's careful it would have a you know, traffic calming effect and so forth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another concern that I have is mass transit. Several months ago, I met with CDTA officials, and we talked about various places where they might have pick up and drop off points. Uh, so forth and so on, but quite frankly, they look at their finances, whether it's uh, going to be financial, uh, financially beneficial to them to do it, and, and it's about numbers. You heard Mr. Hartzell mention that earlier, and uh, someday it, that may become a reality, but uh, that's a concern we'd like to have mass transit, which would also help the seniors uh, get around our town. With that, I'm done. Thank you, Vince. Thank you, Bill. Okay, before we have closing statements, I just want to thank you all for demonstrating your civic concern by attending this event. Don't forget to pick up uh, information about our league's upcoming events. We have a lot of things going on in, in the county. Um, and also to pick up the brochure regarding the ballot questions. It's something you're going to need to think about before you vote. So. The information is laid out with pros and cons on the table. So pick one up as you go out and show it to your friends. And voting, of course, on November 7th, polls are open 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. So uh, for closing statements, Vincent will go first. First of all, thank you very much for uh, hosting this event uh, this evening. Um, I, Mr. Brahani mentioned a, a, a pit bull attitude about going after things. Uh, I just want to make a couple of other points clear that, uh, and this has to do with financing. I have personally approached uh, 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 various uh, state officials. We have $125,000 that's committed that will be coming. It takes time for uh, improving and updating our fuel uh, tank storage uh, for our uh, highway department and also another $125,000 uh, to put toward 
uh, eventually, hopefully, uh, water supply to Maltaville. I know 125,000 uh, doesn't go very far when we're talking about that kind of uh, structure. Uh, thank you. Um, although a lot has been accomplished, I have to say that uh, um, I, uh, I need your support because there's still more to be done. And I asked the residents who trusted me in the past um, uh, and I produced for them. So I ask for your continued support on Election Day. Thank you. You were about to yell at me. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned my head away, so. You finished your thought. Okay. Um, Bill, your closing statement. One minute, remember. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I think this, what we've done here today, is important. It's what the country is all about. It's representative government. And um, just to hit some high points so that we can walk away, well, what is this all about? I am pro-business, the right business. I am for growth, smart growth. These are not pie-in-the-sky type of things. Smart growth is a process and a procedure that governments use all across the country. We can do it here. I want to make Malta a welcoming place, a growing and thriving place, and I think it takes imagination, energy, and hard work to do it. And I've had a lot of fun in this campaign doing this. And I'm quoting one politician earlier, Thomas Jefferson. I'm going to quote another one. I'm not going to mention who he is. Some people, to sum up my attitude towards my role as supervisor would be, some people see things as they are and say, why? I imagine things that never were and say, why not? Thank you. Join me in the program.